Check out FlipSideGaming.com for all your gaming needs. Use the promo code HEROES to save 10% on all orders over $10 and support the channel at the same time. Hey there, it's John from Heroes and Legends, and we have another box of Ixalan to open today on the channel. So this one already got part of the cellophane off there, but <laughs> not enough to make me think anyone tampered with it or anything. But let's go ahead and open it up and see how we do. If you saw our last box opening, it was really sweet. Got some awesome pulls. Hoping this box follows the same pattern. And uh, let's just get going here and see what we get. So, uh, Ixalan, it's been a lot of fun to open. It's been a lot of fun to play. And uh, yeah, looking forward to just crack any other box of this. So I'm going to go pretty quick here. We're going to skip most of the commons at this point. I think everyone's kind of seen them from the other videos. We're going to go right into the uncommons and the rare for each pack. Try to make this about 20 minutes or less. Deep Root Waters, Merfolk Branch Walker, Otapak Huntmaster, our rare. Good start, Search of Ascanta. Good way to start things out because this, of course, transforms into Ascanta, the Sunken Ruin. Great card for control decks already seen play in standard control decks. Great for like the approach deck, for example, that's out there right now. So yeah, a really sweet way to start off the box. Love these transform cards at rare. I mean, they're awesome. They make you feel like you're getting lots of value in a box. Great cards. Okay, we have Steadfast Armasaur. Lightning Strike at Uncommon. I think we only opened one of those in our last box. Seeker Squire. And another Vraska's Content. It's like the fifth one we've opened on the channel or something. <laughs> so, great card though. I mean, if you're going to open five of a rare, it's not a bad one. Commune with Dinosaurs is our foil, which is actually a sweet foil too. Okay, let's keep going. The one big card I'd like to hit, I haven't hit yet, is the Guy's Cradle esque card. We hit a lot of Transform cards in our last box, but we didn't hit that one. We didn't hit that one. We didn't hit the red one. And there's one or two of the artifact ones, but still hit a lot in that last box. All right, Ruthless Nav, Pillar of Origins, Walk the Plank, our rare is a Shaper Sanctuary. Okay, we'll keep going. So, one stuck. Next pack. I think we got four Mythics in our last box. See if we can beat that this time. <laughs> Wily Goblin. Emergent Growth, Bishop of the Bloodstained, our rare, hey nice, is a rip claw, a Ripjaw Raptor. We did not get one of those in our last box, it's a really sweet card. I think it's the first time we've opened this one on the channel. And we got a Wanted Scoundrels as a foil. I think we, did we get that as a foil last time? I don't know, maybe I'm crazy. So, that's a good rare, happy with that pull. That's one of those cards that, yeah, I mean the Dinosaur deck, no matter what happens with that deck, I mean it didn't look great after week one, sure, but if it doesn't do anything that card is still going to do something much like carnage tyrant i mean still just a good green creature ruthless nav excellence binding sky terror and a rare is a captivating crew and we got a foil planes i don't think we had a foil land in our last pack or our last box which is unusual you usually get one right in a booster box typically give or take okay we have a dusk legion a dreadnought fiery cannonade Imperial Arasaur, and a rare is a Kopala Warden of Waves. Another card that is actually pretty sweet that I want to try out. So that's a cool pull. We're getting different cards in this box, which is nice to see. Um, I still like to see some of the other Planeswalkers, like Jace. Um, I don't know. They're decent. Like I, I want to try them out, if nothing else. So we got Varaska already on the channel. Dinosaur Stampede. Edzokin Archer, Dead Eye Plunders, our rare is a Blood Crazed Paladin. It's another card I kind of want to try out and see how it plays. I, I think I played it in a seal pool one time, but didn't really get it. Start off with the Conquistadors there. Better in multiples <laughs> if you're playing with them. All right, Siren Storm Tamer. Raiders Wake, Routing Looters. Oh, there we go. Our rare is a Growing Rites of Itlamak. And this is the one I just kind of wanted to play with myself. Uh, of course, this transforms into a very Gaia's Cradle S card, Itlamak, Cradle of the Sun. They're both called Cradle. Look at that. Um, so there you go. So we've hit most of those transform cards now on the channel, which is sweet. Um, love that card. I, I want to try it out, see how it plays. A lot of different places, actually. I even want to try that out in Modern, but... I like to put it in like an elf deck, just see what it does or what it could do. Inspiring Cleric, Deep Root Waters, 
bonded horn crest are rare is a fathom fleet captain okay good limited card there actually we'll keep going you have to hit a mythic but this is what's cool about Exelon is you have like the buddy lands you have all these cool transform rares so in most of the myth like a lot of the mythics are like kind of niche so like it's kind of fun to hit a lot of the rares even more so than the mythics sometimes in this particular set elaborate fire cannon rigging runner blight reprisal our rare is a waker of the wilds another card i want to try out such a sweet set it really is so this is one of those sets that like i think is going to draw a lot of new players into the game and get a lot of maybe older players reinvigorated this feels like a like a Ravnica or an Innistrad to me when just when it comes to like playability right maybe not value necessarily because cards are printed a lot more nowadays than they used to be but just playability Vicious Conquistador Belligerent Brontodon Storm Fleet Spy our rares our first mythic <laughs> unfortunately it's Rowdy Crew <laughs> um yeah I, I'm not a big fan of that card it's just way too into um high variance for a mythic too for me I don't know this feels like the design of the card is just a little off considering it's a mythic and if i can get this pack open <laughs> there we go <laughs> that was painful uh so yeah kind of is what it is but that's fine we'll take it like i said a lot of the mythics here kind of like eh, okay there's some real cool ones though obviously like the planeswalkers or carnage tyrant verdant rebirth river sneak savage stop our rare is a vanquisher's banner very nice so cool seeing a lot of different cards though i like that i hate opening a box and then opening another box especially like on the channel when people are watching hopefully to be entertained and then oh i drop dropping stuff <laughs> hopefully to be entertained and we open like all the same cards so grim captain's call charging monstrosaur really cool and common lurking chupacabra and we get a fleet swallower as our rare so okay another one we haven't seen yet so I don't know we'll see how this box does so far it doesn't feel quite as exciting as that first box the first box is real good though <laughs> but we are just starting off so a lot could change obviously we'll begin with a storm fleet aerialist dark nourishment uncharted territory and our rare is a shadowed caraval I don't think we've opened one of these yet either and we get a foil it's a pious interdiction and this is um this is a pacifism s card so those are always great for you and limited i always have to play those all right struggling with these packs today <laughs> next one we got kamina speaker railing roar Odepec Huntmaster, our rare, is another mythic. It's Awakening Sun's Avatar. So pretty pretty sweet card, actually, for like uh, maybe commander purposes. If you're trying to build that dinosaur deck in commander, uh, it is kind of like a, a uh, crux of fate almost, like for dinosaurs, but it's a big creature too. So yeah, I'll take it. There's a second mythic. Still haven't hit a Carnage Tyrant. I would like to do that. Uh, any of the other Planeswalkers too would be sweet that we haven't hit yet. Uh, Vine Shaper, Mythic, Deathless Ancient, Stormfleet Spy. Our rare is Marvin. I always want to say Marvin. Maverin Fiend Dusk Apostle. I know people are already calling him Marvin. And as well, they should because what else would you call them? <laughs> um, <laughs> but I accidentally, every time I see that card, I want to say Marvin. I always I could edit it out of the normal videos, but <laughs> when I'm opening packs, you're just hearing it. Uh, Trove of Temptation, Tempest Caller, Thundering Spineback. Our rare is a repeating barrage. It's another card I want to try out to see how it does. I think it's a little awkward right now in standard because I do think Ramnev Red is like so efficient that it just doesn't need that. Like it's a little too slow almost for that deck. But if the meta evolves at some point, like I do think it's playable. Imperial Lancer, Lookout's Dispersal, Ranging Raptors are rare. Oh, it's another Transform card. Another one we haven't gotten yet. Conqueror's Galleon. Of course, this transforms into Conqueror's Foothold. So that's actually pretty sweet. I like it. I feel like we've hit all of the Transform cards now on the channel. Not just in these two boxes, but between everything we've opened. And that's actually pretty cool because we haven't got duplicates, duplicates of any of them. Except for the black one. We did get a few copies of the black one. At least two, I think. But all right. Perilous Voyage, 
Rapture Hatchling, Adonto Vanguard, our rare, is a Rampaging Ferocidon. And we get another foil. It's Hero Fats Chalice. All right. We'll keep plugging away here. We've got two Mythics so far, so still early enough in the box. Hopefully we'll hit like two more or something. No Masterpieces, of course, in this set. Kind of sad. I like opening Masterpieces on the channel. Or at least teasing, maybe we'll open a Masterpiece. <laughs> Sleek Schooner. Makeshift Munitions. Ixalan's Binding. And we get a Sun Petal go uh, Grove. So we've opened... Last box we opened four check lands, All of them but the Demir Land. So we get another one here. We'll see if those pick up too. I mean, value-wise, they're not super high. I mean, they've had a number of printings in the past, but because of the fact they're now standard playable, and they do have sweet new art, um, there are all are starting to go up in value. Wanted Scoundrels, Field of Ruin, Call to the Feast. A rare is a revel in the riches. Okay, a little alternate win condition action there. Can it get there? <laughs> uh, some people tried to brew some stuff with it. I like to see a deck like attempt it. I don't know. I just feel like the format is pretty tight right now, even though we lost a lot of cards. Like some of those control decks and even Ramen Up Red is still looking good. Energy decks still look good. Kamina Speaker, Navigator's Ruin, Edzokin Archer are rare. There we go. There's the Drowned Catacomb. Maybe the more popular one right now, just because of where the meta is. And this one seems to be climbing the fastest, but which makes sense considering the decks we saw the first few weeks here. And then we have a Perilous of Voyage, which of course is our uh, foil on Cotman. Okay. All right, we're getting there. Getting down there. It's actually a pretty sweet box. I, I, I love, I'm a sucker for those transform cards. <laughs> they make me feel like every box is good. That's another thing. I mean, cards like transform cards or just random things like that, they make you feel like you're getting value, even if you're not always getting financial value. And that's also a key to a good set. Uh, Lightning Recruit, Wild Growth, Walker, Raging Sword, Tooth, Raging, yeah, Sword Tooth. And we got a Yona Butcher of Magan. This is a Mythic. This is actually a really sweet card. Like, this is a card when it first previewed. I said, yeah, I think this will see standard play. And it has. So uh, it, it's just good. Even if you ignore the ability, Vigilance Lifelink 4 4 for 5, like, that's a good card, especially in a world of aggressive decks like Ramen Apparat and stuff. So, yeah, it, it saw some play. I think it continued. It will continue to. You know, if the if the uh, card pool in standard wasn't as narrow as it is right now, I might not say that. But yeah, it's a good enough card for sure to get there right now. We have Heartless Pillage, Dire Fleet Captain, Bonded Horncrest, our rare is a to Tokatali. <laughs> All right, I'm going to spit it out. Here we go. Tokatli Honor Guard. All right. Interesting sideboard card, maybe, in certain situations, or a build around card and maybe Commander or something. They can surprise your opponent, like we do stuff like that in Commander, because you can just develop your deck to not be affected by it, and it's definitely going to affect somebody at some point, right? So it could be interesting. Favorable favorable wins. I should be able to say that. Gee, Great Sail Freebooter, <laughs> Bellowing Aegisaur, and finally Averted Sun's Avatar. So, a little Thrag Tusk -esque. I mean, obviously not that good with a higher casting cost, but it's it's a good limited card. I played with it. It was it was good for me. Okay, we're getting down there actually. Hopefully, we'll hit some more mythics or something. Sentinel Totem, Air Elemental, Snapping Sailback are rare. Ashes of the Abhorrent. All right. Next pack, and maybe I'll count up the packs, see what we have left. Yeah, this, this box doesn't feel quite as epic as that last one. But like I said, I think we're still due for another, like, one really big hit here. Stormfleet Arsonist, Glorifier of Dusk, Chart a Course, and a Ruin Raider. All right. What are we down to here? Nine packs, I think. Three, six, nine, I think. Yeah. Nine packs. All right, last nine packs. We want a big hit. Give us a big foil, maybe. I'll take a Meteor Ochre box if I get some good rares and then a big foil pull. <laughs> that foil of Araska. Where's she at? All right. <laughs> Where is she hiding? Okay, we have a Dusk Legion Dreadnought. Bishop of the Bloodstained. Deadeye Quartermaster. Our rare is an Arcane Adaptation. Actually, that's a sweet card, so... Another good rare. There's a, there's a lot of really fine rares. There's actually better rares, I think, overall in this set than the Mythics. Like, I'd rather hit a lot of the good rares than most of the Mythics. <laughs> uh, like I said, Planeswalkers are cool, Tyrant's cool, but yeah, a lot of them are eh, just kind of okay. Wanted Scoundrels, 
field of ruin raptor hatchling are rare is a fell flagship all right seven packs to go where's that big hit not that big hit i mean we haven't seen a foil rare yet i mean not that we're guaranteed one but usually you get one in a box okay elaborate fire cannon rigging runner savage stomp and death gorge scavenger good sideboard card is definitely seeing standard play you're seeing main deck play out of the dinosaur build, but of course that struggled a little bit. So, yeah, if it's see sideboard play though, and a lot of other decks, I mean, that's fine with me. <laughs> Feels like it could be good there. It messes around with like gift stacks and stuff like that. All right, slice in Twain, Duskborn Sky Marcher, Tempest Caller, our rare is Angroth's Marauders. All right, we're getting down there. How many mythics did we hit? Is it really only two, or am I forgetting one? We hit the Rowdy Crew and we hit, um, I think it was three, right? There's Magan and there was another one, which I can't remember right now. It's all starting to blur together. <laughs> all right. Siren, Storm Tamer, Raider's Wake, Imperial, Aerosaur, and our rare. We haven't seen that many transform cards compared to the last box where we're hitting them left and right. But here's, uh, this course becomes Treasure Cove and it's Treasure Map. So it's a nice hit. All right. How many left here? Four packs, man. Yeah, this box not as hot as our last one, that's for sure. These four packs could change that though. Definitely could change my estimation of the box. <laughs> so last one was so good though. Stormfleet Aerialist, Emissary of Sunrise, Shapers of Nature. Our rare is Glacial Fortress, so we do hit a check land with three box, three packs to go. All right. Come on, Ixalan. This box has to kind of come back for us a little bit here. Wily Goblin, Emerging Growth, Dro a Drover of Mighty, and Talani's Shape, sh or Skin Shifter. Mmm, two packs. Wow, and no foil rare. All right, it's got to be something good here. Quick reminder, though, since we're wrapping up the video, if you check out the description below, you can support the channel in a few different ways. If you're looking at a way to help us out, have us keep making these videos, do have our Patreon page down below, as well as uh, some Amazon product links. If you, uh, if you buy anything, once you go through those links, we'll get a small percentage. And Flipside Gaming also has their link below. Dinosaur Stampede, Sky Terror, Dark Nourishment, and a Rootbound Crag. All right, another one of the check lands. Last pack. Um, but definitely check out Flipside Gaming. They do have a promo code for our viewers. They just restocked on Iconic Masters if you're looking for a place to pre-order those. And uh, they have a great buy list too that I like a lot. So yeah, they're, they've been pretty awesome. So if you get a chance, check them out. Throw a little traffic their way. Helps the channel for sure. Verdant Rebirth. Marauding Looter. Fiery Cannonade. Can, why do I keep wanting to say Cannonade? Cannonade. Cannonade. Sounds very pretentious. All right. I see a foil here. I don't know. Maybe we'll get something. Let's see what this rare is. It's a Sorcerer's Spyglass. Okay. That's cool. Definitely has seen some play already in, in Standard. And we get Brazen Book in here, so we don't get a foil rare. Wow. This box is kind of disappointing. No Planeswalkers. No Tyrant. I mean, a limited amount of the transform cards. I mean, we did hit the one I really wanted, which of course was the um, was the guy's cradle one. Uh, so that was cool. And uh, yeah, now if you combine this box and the last box overall, I think we're doing pretty good. But uh, yeah, this box a little little flat. This one's a little flat. So kind of is what it is sometimes. That's the nature of opening opening these boxes. And what I'd say, like I always say, you know what? Unless you're buying packs to play, and I actually do play with these packs, which is good. I am, I am going to play sealed with them. So unless you're buying packs to play with, don't bother. Just buy the singles. <laughs> so um, it, it's, it will be less painful. Trust me. All right. Until next time. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe and have a great day. Hey, thanks for watching. This video is made possible by the generous support of viewers like you on Patreon. Check out the description below for links to our Patreon page as well as our Amazon affiliate store, where a small percentage of all sales will also help support the channel. Finally, if you haven't had a chance yet to subscribe, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any new videos on Heroes and Legends. Talk to you again soon, and have a great day.